Hi, uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Shreyas Rashri. I'm the Vice President of Compute uh, at Imagination. I look after Imagination's uh, compute products, which includes RISC-V CPUs, our AI technology, uh, and our uh, graphics compute, GPU compute products, uh, and the associated software with it. What is the R, R AI technology you, you mentioned? Yeah, so we have uh, our own uh, neural network accelerators, but we also support AI technology via uh, you know, uh, GPUs, uh, so we can run uh, accelerators, neural network workloads nice. on GPUs as well. And here at your booth, uh, you're showing lots of uh, hardware around, and uh, uh, right here on the wall, you're talking about RISC-V. So what's the latest you have to talk about this? Sure, so we, uh, we announced uh, in late 2021 that we are developing RISC-V CPUs. Uh, we launched our first product, and in front of you, you have our first product running on an uh, FPGA. It's an RTXM uh, 2200. It's a real-time embedded CPU. So it's running in this FPGA right there? It's running in this FPGA here. Um, it's connected to uh, Imagination's uh, IDE, which is a Visual Studio Code-based IDE, uh, which is unique. Uh, and it's running a, a simple application here. So how soon is it going to be taped out and real, real chip? So, so we have a, a, a customer who has already licensed it, uh, the, the first CPU. So as and when uh, they bring the chip, uh, chip out, uh, that's when we'll get our first silicon back. How powerful is it? How so useful? What market is it for? So it's an embedded uh, real-time CPU. It's uh, an 11-stage pipeline. It's, it's a high-performance embedded CPU uh, for real-time applications. Uh, we, we are running it at 1.8 gigahertz on a 7 nanometer uh, process node. Uh, so that's the kind of applications we are targeting are, are embedded sort of helper cores, management, SOC management cores, power management cores. But the CPU can also be used for uh, networking uh, type of use cases, uh, for a secure enclave uh, implementation in a larger SOC, uh, and anything which is to do with real time deterministic behavior. So, Imagination is famous for the GPU technology. Do you have some of the latest GPU stuff you're showing here? Uh, so, so we are showing a lot of partner demos um, around around the booth. Uh, a lot of automotive partner demos. We have a one with telechips. towards it. Yeah. One with one with telechips here, uh, which is actually showcasing uh, a full, a large cockpit uh, display. Uh, here you have a kind of, uh, because it's hardware virtualized, we can run multiple OSs. Uh, here you're seeing a, a Linux uh, running alongside an Android uh, OS. Uh, it's running on the same SOC. Running on the same GPU, uh, on the same SOC. Um, Is it an ARM, ARM core? The, the CPU in here would be ARM CPU. Uh, but the chips design and then they use Power VR. Power VR, uh, imagine GPU. But things are moving around as well in the CPU side of things. So if I would take you here. Uh, we are also partnering with other RISC-V companies uh, with our GPU. So here we have a Star 5 uh, board, which is uh, a Star 5 CPU running within uh, Imagination GPU. So uh, Star 5 is a RISC-V. RISC-V CPU. Uh, so, as part of our RISC-V enablement strategy, we are enabling the, the ecosystem. Uh, we are working with everyone in the ecosystem uh, to make the RISC-V more successful. Here again, we are showcasing another uh, a T -head, uh, Alibaba's T-Head RISC-V CPU with Imagination GPU, and it's running Android uh, at the moment. So. Your GPU is a good match for the risk five. Yeah, we actually, uh, in this performance range, uh, we are actually the only GPU provider for risk five, and we, we are saying uh, it's the GPU of choice for the risk five architecture. All right, because uh, you have the experience making the Android stuff, and there's a lot of GPU acceleration in exactly. the whole UI. Yeah. And it just, it, how, how much of a work was it to port it over? To make it on a work uh, on the risk five. No, so by default, uh, our GPUs are OS or CPU agnostic. 
so it wasn't a very heavy lifting uh, to, to port it to Risk Five. But of course, uh, with our own internal Risk Five development, uh, we have all the in-house experience of uh, of developing these these use cases. So this is uh, a real chip and a real chip. Are they on development boards, but are they on real products or not yet? Uh, so GPUs, yes. Uh, Imagination has been uh, a GPU company for almost three decades now, so you have uh, real products out in the market yeah, for, for all for the some, arm some time. based. Yeah, yeah, for some time. Uh, these, these are. This is single board computer uh, that's available now uh, for developers to for play developers with. to yeah. play with. Yeah. And but but the large quantities of, of real products in the world, RIS five, is coming. It's coming. Uh, uh, the market is moving at a very very fast pace. RISC-V has disrupted the status quo. Um, and, and we are seeing more and more, uh, practically everybody here in the embedded world is talking about RISC-V and how to move designs from uh, from the existing CPU providers to, to RISC-V. For example, when you have a UI like this, uh, which looks a little bit like uh, automa automotive, automotive yeah. market, how hard is it or how easy it is to port over applications to this platform? compared uh, to previous platforms? It, it's not hard because uh, graph, uh, GPU for graphics use cases ultimately run uh, things like OpenGL, OpenGL ES. Uh, so we support those uh, Chrono standards. So you know the APIs are all standard and it's easy to port. Nice. Uh, what do you show here in the middle? So here, uh, here we have, uh, uh, you, can, you can think of this as a heterogeneous uh, compute use case where we have uh, a chip, uh, a Renaissance R car platform with Imagination GPU, um, running alongside with our neural network accelerator on an FPGA. And, and in total, what we are trying to showcase here is a surround view use case, where the GPU is actually doing multiple functions. Um, it's actually rendering the car here. It's stitching the image from the multiple cameras, uh, and then the uh, neural network accelerator here is actually doing <laughs> human detection or uh, as well on the scene. So it's all real time. It's uh, uh, You can see uh, that camera detecting you uh, and these ones uh, showcasing you. Again, you can see reflections being reflected on uh, from the camera onto the device. Um, just to exaggerate, we can I think the gold gold color shows it very nicely. This is actually showing reflections. We can go right in the car, and actually we are now showcasing the same sort of surround view in a cockpit cockpit environment. And all this will be running on one SSC. Ultimately, when yes, it's, all of all of this when will it's be ready, yeah. taped out. So, and, so this is already an SSC from Renaissance. Um, but we have hooked it up with our neural network accelerator to, to give that uh, a full surround view use case. So the RZ? R. Uh, the, the, the Renaissance is one of these. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's Renaissance R car. R car, H3 platform. All right. All right, anything else here at the booth you, you were talking about a lot? Oh, there's lots of discussions about the future. Uh, yes, uh, lots of discussions around uh, GPU, GPUs for RISC-V, GPUs in automotive, uh, and RISC-V itself, the RISC-V CPUs from imagination. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.